Hi, my name is Ed Chi, and I was one of the storyboard supervisors for Last Kids on Earth. And today, let's draw Jack. So first thing you'll see is that I want to break down his face and see how I can draw his face. One thing you can do about faces is start with the sphere and then a line down the middle. Also, at the bottom of that line, that's where you can put the nose. And on the lines going across, that's where the eyeballs will go. So that's the top of his head. Jack himself, he has that lower jaw then, round cheek, dropping down all the way to his chin and going up to his ears. After I decide basically what his face structure can look like, I'm gonna wanna think about what kind of pose he's gonna be in. So I'm quickly sketching a stick figure of maybe how he's gonna stand with his slicer. We could do that, but also I'm thinking I wanna do something more action-y. So I'm gonna, again, just sketch it in, start with the head, draw all the way down and find a pose. What we do in animation and storyboarding is we call it the line of action. And that's basically the quick pose, the line that runs through the entire body. And that kind of sells your idea of what kind of action pose that your character is going to be in. So I'll drop it in real fast, draw in his hips and where his legs maybe. And then I'll just maybe do a few versions of it and see which one I like. The first one maybe could be expanded upon where well, I'm into the second one now. Maybe I want his eye looking up at a monster. So that's what I'm doing with the second one. And then I'm just really stretching his feet out to balance himself off there in this action pose. So I think I like that one and I'll go with something like that. Now I'll we'll start again with the sphere in blue line. And as I mentioned before, at the bottom of that sphere, you can put his nose in. Right? and then his jaw comes in below the sphere. And I'm just quickly sketching in the pose with quick, fast lines from my thumbnail that I had earlier. So I'll draw all the way down to the feet and then work over the pose a bit, just trying to find a pose that I like. Now we're getting more refined, right? I'm gonna add in the backpack where it could be, uh, the shape of his hair. So once we have that underlying structure of his skull, we can see where that hair is going to go to. And so I might do, you know, a few of these sketches until I find something that I really like. And now I'm going to go and start cleaning it up with a blacker line. You could do this too at home by layering another piece of paper on top of your other drawing and just tracing it. What I like to do when I'm at home, if I don't have uh, something like what they call a light box, I will hold the first piece of paper up to the window, put the second piece of paper on top of it and trace it that way and use the natural sunlight. That's your homemade tracing paper. So again, let's start in with the black lines, defining where everything will be along his shirt, his arm. You'll see I put it like a, a circle where his elbow bends. That's uh, just like a point of reference for me where I know where it bends. Continue up to his hands and with hands, they can be tricky to draw, but it's always simplest to Think about them as basic geometric shapes, so in this case, squares. And even that finger on top holding the slicer, that's like another square with a triangle for that finger. We continue drawing the backpack, and then here I'm trying to figure out the look of the slicer. Maybe it's too curved there. I kind of erase it and go back and forth until something more like a baseball bat. There you go. And then I'll add the little details, get the overall big shape first, and then add little details like the teeth. And then, so I'm just gonna continue down to the leg. Shoes, same thing. People find drawing feet hard to do. Well, if you break it down to simple shapes, again, like triangles and squares, and then you have a shoe. He's got that tongue of his shoe sticking up. Uh, it's like a little rectangle or you know, half triangle. And then as you see, I as I get the bigger shapes, I can do, go in and add smaller details like the button on his pocket, just say, on his jeans. That's the uh, line drawing that I have for Jack. So now I might just go color straight with markers. And basically what I'm doing when I color, is just like take your pen, your marker, your crayon, and just color over all the whole shapes, the bigger shapes, and then work on the smaller details with your colors. You'll notice with the uh, his back arm, I chose to color it a lighter color because just to show that it's receding in distance a little bit. So that arm is behind his other arm. 
if I made it the same color, then it would all just blend in together. So that's why I did that. We'll move down to the shoes. He has these uh, laces and red trim. Just referencing what I see off the show, what his design looks like, and just basically coloring the solid colors. His hair, the black with the brown highlights, as you can see, and then the bat, with little details after the big shapes are colored in. Now what you're seeing is I'm gonna take it to another level. So we have this flat coloring of Jack. I'm going to add in lighting. So what do we do here? Well, let's pick a light source like the sun. Think about it as a light bulb up in the sky, right? And so where does that light hit? We'll draw the sun up in the corner and since it's that way, all the light that's gonna hit Jack will hit at that angle straight down. So anything on the left side of Jack, I'm gonna add in a sunlight highlight. And anything below that, I'm gonna add in the shade. So you can see it's like the geometric shapes again. I'm taking a sphere, a ball, the sunlight will hit on the left side, and then underneath will be shadow. So let's go do that with Jack. So I'm adding some highlights to the slicer, adding some highlights to the left side of his face and hair, because that's where the sun is, onto his jeans. So just a quick little light on top with the crayon, and that helps add dimension to the flat drawing of Jack. Then I'll take the shadow color and just darken underneath his arm. Just if we just reference that sphere again, anything on the underside of the light will be in shadow. So that's what I'm doing with his jeans, the slicer, adding some shadow on the teeth, and maybe under his chin and ear. And we're pretty much almost done. As you can see, now that you look at it, look how big his shoe is on the uh, his right side. It's super big and way bigger than the other shoe. Don't worry about it. It's just a drawing. It's just your drawing. Have fun with it have fun making zany proportions. It doesn't have to be perfect. The main thing is just to have fun. Okay, that's it. Bye.